Hey David, what I'm going to show you here is how to import your own template, your custom template, into MailChimp and send that template instead of their pre-designed templates. I think you're right, their templates aren't that great. So the first thing I think you need to do is go to list and make your email list. But it's pretty easy, I've created a list here of two people, me and you. But you just go create list and you fill see what the list name is and you see what the email is and this way you can have lists for your different companies um, and they all can be separated separated, and they all have a uh, different email that it's all sending from a different email so it looks like it's sending from their company so after you make your list and you add people to the list it's pretty self-explanatory you can go to campaigns and create a new campaign and do a regular old campaign. This is an HTML campaign. This is a plain text campaign, which is just text. This is an AB split campaign, which means it does two different versions of a campaign and um, it tests which one does better. And so that's that's helpful for marketing, but let's just do a regular old campaign. And it asked me which uh, list I want to send it to you. So this would be, you know, one of the companies. This would be another one. This would be another one, and so on. And it'll send it to the right. Um, the reply email would be the right email, so it looks like it's from their company. So we just go next. And here you can even specify what email it's sent from and the from name. So this would be maybe their company name, and this would be the company email address. So we're just going to do test number five. And uh, this just means that uh, it will be personalized. So I'll say their name, their first name. All right, and let's go next. All right, once you do this, we want to import to my templates and we do a template name and we browse for it it's on my desktop in the newsletter and I think it is this one And we'll just choose the first one. The, there's a lot of different HTML uh, files in there, but we'll just choose the first one and press open and upload. So now once we have this uploaded into it, we can click this edit button right here. And we can see that none of the images are here because we haven't uploaded any of the images. And when I try to upload one here, it just says, what's the image URL? So I'm guessing that we need to upload it onto our website because I didn't see any way for it to upload it onto MailChimp, which is fine. That's uh, It's even easier if we do upload it to our website. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go to uh, my website, my WordPress website, and I'm going to add new. And I'm going to select the files. And we'll try to find that blue with a light gray background. And go to images and just select all these images. So click the first one, go all the way to, down to the bottom, hold shift, and click the last one. Then we can just wait for this to upload. And while we're waiting for that, um, you're going to want to go to the code, coding area, and this is all the code. So what we need to do is replace the images. So here's an image right here. It's probably like logo or something. But you can search that by going to IMG, and you, you see that there's an image, and it's called 
uh, where the image lives they think is here but obviously it doesn't live there or else the image would be showing up so it thinks that the image it lives here images slash bottom background underscore blue underscore one dot png which would be the same as uh, mailchimp.com slash images slash bottom background blue one png but it doesn't we never uploaded it to mailchimp so what we need to do is replace this with um, where we uploaded it to my website so where we actually uploaded it to so um, let's see how to do that so we can see that the image this image uh, let's find a good one actually we can see that this area chart image uh, where'd that go okay this image is chart 3 actually really does live here on my website so if we copy this and we paste it we can see that the image actually does live there but it doesn't live on MailChimp servers anywhere so what we have to do is we have to replace this images slash with mywebsite.com slash uploads with all of this so we have to find and replace every instance where it says the source of the images is here with uh, my website where it actually is so there's an easy way to do that and we can do that by copying all of this and opening up our text edit here and if we paste it we can see that it does it but let's make it a uh, plain text so it doesn't format it weird and let's go to uh, the code here and let's copy all of it so copy it and let's paste it into here and I'll show you why we're doing this in a second then we're going to uh, find everything that has images slash so we're gonna press uh, command F on a PC I mean control F on a PC command F on a Mac we're gonna find everything that says images slash and we're gonna replace it with we're gonna replace it with this so it's gonna find everything that says images slash and it's gonna replace it where the actual location is but it's still gonna keep uh, this bottom background blue so it's actually gonna just fill it all in with the correct URL so we're gonna replace all so once we do that let's exit it and let's copy everything again and let's go back to our template builder and paste it in so now we can see that the image source is correct hopefully so we can go back to our split view and we see it still doesn't work but if we press the refresh button we can see that all of the images are in let's go to just design are in but you can see that your logo's not in and obviously all this content is wrong uh, so you're gonna need to give me some content and maybe a button we can easily make in Photoshop here so what we do to get this image in is we find what this is called this uh, logo so if we look on our uploads we can see that it's called logo.png so let's just look for that the logo.png but before we look for it let's upload your logo so let's add new and select and let's find your logo
There it is, I think. Yep. And let's copy your logo. So now we can go to uh, the code and search for that logo.png that we saw and just highlight everything and paste this and let's press save and uh, sure we'll overwrite it and then whoops and then we uh, let's go back to the edit and we go to design and we see that your logo is right in there and so that can all be changed all everything can be changed in the code you just look for you know the phone numbers and uh, or anything you want see sales and support you can usually change that and you can look through this code and you'll begin to understand everything and just go to design and you can see once you hit refresh you can see the changes so it's uh, pretty easy we, we might be want want to change this down here so uh, we could easily do that or you know anything else we want to change it's pretty simple so once you do that you just press save and we can override it and then we can select the one we want and we say okay that's fine go next and it makes a text thing for us but we can change that just in case uh, someone wants to see it plain text click next and uh, yeah we can be done with that and all we have to do is send it or send a test let's send a test we'll test me and we'll send test It should be here. And it will be in a little while, but it's not right now. All right, should be there by now, and it is. And we can display images, and we see that it's a pretty nice looking uh, email template. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. And we want to send a real one, you just press the send button. So yep, that's it. You just press that send now. And I'll send to all the correct list and everything. So I hope that helped you uh, get in contact me with me if you have any questions. And uh, we'll talk soon. Thanks, David.